what has brought about this positive change in the team as both batting and bowling have given well-rounded and a complete performance? Uh, well, I think we've just we've naturally got better. We we openly had some challenges around the the balance of our side. We had some setbacks early on, um, players leaving and and COVID, and we struggled really to find a combination that uh, was suiting the conditions. And I go right back to the start. We played the first three games in each of the venues, and keep in mind we're a team that wins around 72, 74 percent of games back in Chennai. So we're quickly trying to find a way to be effective and what is essentially away games. Uh, we did well in the first game, but then got exposed for the next couple of games. So we, we felt we had holes in the team, and then we set about trying to, to fill those spots based on form um, and limited exposure. And it just didn't quite click. And then um, tactically, some of the batting and bowling decisions with due and no due, uh, we couldn't really work it out. And it was just the start of the tournament was just incredibly frustrating. But... Uh, we stuck together really well, which was, I was proud of. And, and one of the, the focuses was that we kept getting better and uh, we're too proud just to whimper out. And I think that's a reflection of um, the three games we've played now. We're, we're a lot more settled. We're able to play players, young players in the right spot and give them a good run. Um, and also the pressure's off as well. So when, when you're knocked out of a tournament, it does change the, the mental um, the mental aspect of your side. And we, we play with a bit of freedom and, and played how we, we, we can play. So we're, we're we're pretty proud of that, how we stuck together, but we're obviously disappointed that we couldn't get onto it a little bit earlier, as you say. Now that the season is over, what have been the biggest positive for the sub positives for the side this season? Oh, we hung tough uh, as a group. Uh, obviously, in the bubble, we're spending a lot of time together, and, and um, when teams aren't going well in the IPL, it can get a bit toxic. But uh, the players, every one of them, were incredibly committed to what we were trying to do. Some were getting opportunities and some weren't, which, again, is the nature of the IPL. Uh, but we got through well. We got through strong. And the fact that we were finishing uh, on and up is testament to the players more than anything, that they were still committed to uh, to respecting the, the jersey and the franchise and, and desperate to, to finish the tournament well so that we can look back and say what if rather than what next. And we've got too many fans as well that um, rely on us doing well and want us to do well. And we had an obligation to do that. And the players were in a good enough space and tough enough to, to do that, repay that. Uh, Rutraj Gaikwad, again, another good performance from him. How do you plan to groom him for the future as well? And uh, a word on, did possibly you miss him earlier in the tournament? You could have possibly played him earlier. Yeah, he's a big story, isn't he? he um, no, we couldn't play him earlier. In fact, we played him too early. The COVID really knocked him around. Um, we knew how good he was from the, the, the time we've had the last two years. And the, the pre-season in Chennai was outstanding. Uh, one of the disappointments, obviously, was he got sick. And the fact that hung around for so long, uh, people underestimate what it actually does to a player physically and mentally. We tried to get him into the game um, really early on. And looking back, it was probably too soon. So it wasn't effective, um, not enough opportunity. We might have pushed him to get in there too quickly. And um, and he just wasn't quite ready physically. And then you got to wait a little bit. Some doubts are cast and you just got to keep trying to work with him um, and net practice and his limited practice matches but uh, we always had in mind that he was going to be a key player. The fact that he got for, uh, sort of four games in a row and took those took that opportunity was um, well testament again to his ability but also the fact that we were right in, um, in, in what we saw in him. So we we're really pleased for him and, and obviously now he's a, a big candidate for us going forward. Bowlers did a fantastic job today. Imran Tahir getting a crucial wicket of Chris Gale yeah. and DD getting three wickets uh, but they didn't quite feature in all games for you. So possibly they could have played what do you think in hindsight and also their performance. Oh, I'm not going to deal in hindsight. We had Josh Hazelwood also who, who played limited games. What we we were um, we were in trouble is that without our Indian batters, um, we had to fill those gaps with international players. And whilst you'd like to play all your internationals, when you're having to fill a gap at the top of the order, uh, it puts a squeeze somewhere else. So we had to rely on our Indian seamers and only a, um, uh, only one sort of overseas bowler at a time of that. So that, that's where the squeeze goes on. It was the fact we had to fill the slots that were usually taken by Indian players at the top and just rejig our side. So it wasn't that we didn't want to play them. When you got one of the best T20 bowlers in the world sitting on the sideline, it hurts me just as much as some of the experts saying, why is he not playing? But they have to think deeper than that as to what, what's going on in the balance of the side. And that's one of the greatest challenges of um, selecting each side when you've got so much talent on the bench. And finally, uh, you 
coach other sides and you've been a part of a rebuilding process uh, moving forward if you have got to rebuild do you think this is possibly your biggest challenge as a coach no oh, it's a great challenge this is great fun yeah but there's responsibility around it but um when you get the likes of Ruta Raj come through and, and some of the players getting the mix of youth and, and old, and, and we go back to the first team that uh, Mr. Srinivasan picked, Indian Cement, CSK picked, and how, how right they got it. Uh, we're looking to do the same. If you can get a, a, a decade of consistent cricket from your, your side, you're doing something right. So we're tapping into that. And, um, yeah, there's a big responsibility. Teams now are, and squads are, are a lot smarter. And they really know what they want, so the talent is really at a premium. But it's it's one of the the challenges and good challenges, exciting challenges of, of being involved in the IPL side. Coach, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Thank you.